This is a message for those known as X-5. You have been compromised. My character's name is Max Guevara. Hey, you're kind of cute. She's confident. She's a smart ass. So how does this bitch work? She's honest. When he looks at me, he sees something he doesn't like. She doesn't feel the need to put on a facade for anyone. And the only kind of mask that she ever puts up, it's to defend herself and not expose her heart and the secret she has. She's made up of like 25 different people, sort of, the, the genetics of, of the best, the smartest. You look at her, you don't know quite what she is, you don't know where she's from, you don't know who she is. Her ethnicity is kind of nonspecific and interesting. Plus she has part feline in her as well, so she can see farther and she can see at night. She can hear things, and her, her senses are heightened as well. Animal DNA was merged with human DNA. Uh, feline DNA, for example, the efficiency of, of feline muscles is much higher than human muscle. Much of Max's agility and speed came from those enhancements. She came from a sort of a government facility in the Midwest somewhere. It's really cold there, there's no one around, and they can do all these experiments and things without anyone finding out. You know, the fact that our main character is genetically engineered, that's not something that could take place in present day, considering that she's an adult. It's an experiment that has begun in our present day, and we all know, you know, with the various advances in, in, in cloning and genetic engineering that exists now, that such a thing is maybe either possible now or just around the corner, certainly not very far off. A lot of it was very much based on science fact. Max's generation was the fifth generation and the first truly successful generation of manticore progeny that there were. So Max and her classmates uh, were designed to be warriors but also to be highly, highly intelligent and, and to process information much more quickly than, than you or I. Two zero six five 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 zero one three five seven six three three. Dark Angel is a genetically engineered female, and she's got extremely superhuman talents, and she's a fantastically fit female. Come on, you're not even trying. Well, I did 11 months of training, three hours of weight training and cardio, and then we do like weight training five days a week. And I did gymnastics, you know, three times a week, an hour and a half a day. When I first started with the show, they explained the movement, how it was very much like a cat, so you would get into a small ball or you would jump. Or So I trained her in a lot of things like we would get on the balance beam and jump off the beam and land in a mat so she wouldn't fall over. And even though that sounds really simple, landing on your feet from a height is, is, takes a little bit of practice so you don't hurt yourself and also so you don't fall over. Then there's a lot of martial arts and it was going to kind of vary as to what style of martial arts. You get very familiar with the fighting aspect the hand-to-hand, -hand, how to take a hit, how to throw a punch without actually trying not to land anything, which isn't always that easy. They taught me stuff that I could really use, you know, how to elbow somebody without hitting them, how to punch and make it look real without hitting them, and ducking and kicking and learning combinations, and a lot of it is basically it's choreography. We went through extensive training with stunt choreographed fighting. Um, that was uh, a, a big part of the show. It was exhausting at times, but a great fun. She's an X-5. She needs an X-5 heart. Basically, what it comes down to is I was establishment. I was the control. I was the government. Whatever it was that these young people were trying to, to escape from and be free of, that's what I represented. Madam X, I think, was constantly writing Lidecker. She wanted these kids back. She wanted the investment back for the government. Um, these were the super soldiers. This was going to take care of the future. Where are they, Zach? Where's Max? Tell me and all this will be over. I'm one of those guys that is in a position of power, but I'm also, I can go both ways. My orders may have been otherwise at some points in different episodes, but... Uh, the last thing I wanted was these kids dead. You kids had no idea how much you meant to me. 
Had a funny way of showing it. I was trying to build something. I'm worried about her. Why? Because she has the genes of my wife. Got a bad feeling you were going to tell me. You were my... Father. This was kind of his creation, the X-Fives. Um, it was sort of his idea. He kind of got it off the ground and he launched it. So even though we always looked at him as the bad guy, I think that the reason he was always searching, yeah, sure, the government said you had to, but I think he kind of looked at us like his own kids in a way. I mean, he kind of developed and created this. And being the smart bad guy, he got outsmarted by his own creation. It's 5599, I've got a heart for you. It's really the, the whole kind of Eli Whitney interchangeable parts. It's just that we did it on, on uh, uh, an anthropomorphized scale. Jim always insisted that, you know, the jumps and the leaps and the her prowess be grounded in reality. Max is on it. She knows. She's smooth. She's slick. She, she does it. She doesn't think. It just happens. 